Ok, Jonas. Nå skal vi nå skal jeg stille deg noen spørsmål om filmen Off Mice and Men. Så skal du fortelle litt om det på engelsk. Så, so, Jonas. Can you please describe George? Uh, about his appearance, personality, things he does in the film. George, he's a large guy. He has a few problems, uh, mental problems. Uh, he also is has problems with uh, uh, controlling his strength. Uh, uh, he also uh, kills uh, the fa farmer's wife. No, uh, the f uh, boss's son's wife, uh, and uh, as an accident, of course. Back to the fact that he can't control his strength. Afterward, he uh, runs away because he runs to a place where he and his friend has said uh, they should meet in case of a problem, where his friend uh, shoots him in, uh, shoots him to make sure he gets a painless death. But uh, would you say that he, um, George is in his right mind, or is there something wrong with him? Can you? No, that's why I said he had mental problems. He had. He's acting uh, quite dumb, but yeah. not in the sense that he. It's his fault. It's okay. just the way he is. He's challenged. Yes. Okay. So, can you uh, describe Lenny? Lenny, he, yes. he's a pretty ordinary guy, he, they ha uh, he and his companion has a dream to have their own farm with lots of bunnies that they can, uh, uh, that his companion can uh, pet and take care of. This is their dream, they're working on, uh, they're working towards this dream, earning money to buy their own land. Okay, so... Uh don't mind the dog. Pay attention here. So, there are some other characters at the ranch, including, uh, for instance, Candy, uh, the old man, Curly, the boss's son, or Curly's wife, and Crooks, the black stable hand. Um, can you choose one of the uh, one of these characters and explain his or her role in the story? The black stable hand. Mm -hmm. He's. Uh, a rather intelligent guy. He's constantly being dem demeaned uh, due to his Color. position. Uh, this is, from our standpoint, a really, really stupid and racist point of view. But back in those times, it was more well common thing. Okay. So you you told me a little bit a little bit about George and Lenny plan planning to do something with the money. Uh, can you repeat it? Uh, yeah, their, their intentions are to buy some land and build a farm uh, with lot of, uh, lots of bunnies that uh, they, uh, they can take care of. You think this is a plan that's uh, going to happen? I would hope so, but in the sense of the movie, not so much. Unfortunately, as you know, he isn't really capable of taking care of his own strength, so he accidentally kills the uh, the boss's son, uh, boss's son's uh, wife, and this comes up in a huge problem. And they both he flees to a place where they already had discussed if any of them came into any trouble. Unfortunately, or fortunately, however you see it. Uh, his companion came there and taught, told them about their dream and then uh, shot him a mercy kill because if uh, this uh, if he had, wouldn't have done it uh, he would have been hanged or something worse a painful death okay so um, George and Lenny had to run away from the last ranch why? Because is, that, is that the same reason? Or? No, I would say it's because of uh, a problem uh, that came up because of the mental problems uh, that his companion has. 
Okay. There are many warnings. You know the start of the story, Curly's why? Curly, the puppy, is the old dog. Uh, that something bad is going to happen. Do you think George and Lenny will reach their goal? No, I don't. It's... It's sad, but it's just... It's, it's the American dream. And throughout this movie, it's a dream, a goal for them. Pl uh, many of us have goals we want to reach. That's not always possible. But these people, they really wanted and tried all they could to reach their goals. But just shit happens. Okay. So, uh, this is an advanced question. Yeah. So what do you think the story is trying to teach us? Use the term moral of the story when you answer. So, the moral of the story. In my opinion, there can be several morals in the same story. Several points of view you can view, uh, see it on. For example, you can see that no matter what you do, no matter how uh, much you work, you will never, uh, you will never reach your goals. That's one method you can see it. Or you can see it like two people who strive for what they believe in, what they want uh, throughout uh, uh, their lives, and it's admirable. Okay, so you see, do you see any racial? Of course, themes? but those are I didn't really consider them because they're so blatantly of obvious, especially with uh, the black sta stable hand. That I didn't int uh, tend to take them up because in that time period, such races, uh, rac racism, was quite usual. Okay. So, is there anything else you want to add to you this video? No, I don't think so. So, so we should say thanks to our dog sniffing around. Yeah, he's yeah. probably. Where are you, Todd? Well, there you are. Mm-hmm.